let's talk about AV Foundation. I think I'm gonna make the work for the country guys really, really hard because when I'm nervous, I walk around all over the place. So if you see me walking around to the restroom, drinking some coffee, going around to the restroom, drinking more coffee, that's the way I calm myself, which I also call that uh, stack level too deep kind of thing, situation. And that ends either me, my head exploding, my bladder exploding, or me giving a presenta presentation. So here I am. So this is the company I work for. Uh, we do mostly uh, web apps and iOS apps for other people. So when I heard uh, Mark that he's open sourcing all his projects, I was like, oh, you know, right on, let me do this. I go ahead and tell all my clients, you know, I'm open sourcing everything I work. And they are like, you must be in San Francisco, man, because <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to fly. So what I did in my company was now I'm doing mostly sales. So the apps I'm working on, I mostly also open source. So this is my Twitter account. Please just tweet me, batch me. I have uh, no idea what I'm doing. So let's talk about AV Foundation, but first let's talk about money. Uh, so yeah, I wrote this small gem. It's just to make in-app purchases. Uh, that was my first jam in the Ruby Motion world. Uh, kind of like uh, easy API, you know, you just pass it in your product ID. You have three lambdas, and you can see there that I put a lot of time designing the API. So, yeah, that's uh, Helu. You can use that. I also have another small jam called Motion Social. Uh, and Motion Social basically allows you to tweet something really fast to your followers. It uses the Apple social uh, framework. So you can go into my GitHub account and see that. So let's talk about AV Foundation, right? Really, I think that framework is really, really awesome, but a lot of people are scared about it, you know? It has a lot of moving parts. So I'm gonna explain you how to use it, basically like on three steps, you know, how to display how to record, and how to compose movies. So first, let's just uh, jump back into my world. Because when I'm not writing code, this is what I'm doing, right? I'm kite surfing there in Mexico. So after each kiteboard session, I have like 200, 300 of these videos, right? And I basically got to just like cut the interesting parts, which this is kind of one of them. I'm, I'm going to do a trick here, so <laughs> let's, let's wait for it, yeah. <laughs> so this is called a hand plan. So woo, I do the trick, there it is. Now I'm really happy, you can see me, woo, you know, victory. And now I'm gonna try to stop the, the cam there, you know? So, woo! <laughs> no. <laughs> that clearly didn't work. <laughs> So, well, yeah, I, I do that a lot, you know, and, and I really like it. And what I also like is I, I get to meet, uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, that are, are not like me, you know, like architects or lawyers or bankers or, uh, you know, a lot of people. And what I really like about AB Foundation is, like, it, it gave me superpowers, you know. Now, after I do my kite trips, I use AB Foundations to create videos for my friends. And instead of spending, you know, 20 minutes editing a video on Kino, on, uh, well, not Kino, but Final Cut or After Effects, I can use just what I did. So, let's, uh, this is what I think about AV Foundation, you know, it's just superpowers, it's really nice. And I also love this, uh, this guy, I, I think he's a guy, he's called Dane Fengerhall, and he, he makes this, and I, I just love his art. So AV Foundation, right, it allows us to capture, to playback, and to edit video and audio. So it's all about video, it's all about audio, right? It's all and huge, you know, it's a lot of moving parts. Uh, iOS 4 and OS X 10.7, so a few years already there, and it's all and huge. And in both worlds, it's almost identical, you know, in iOS or on OS X, uh, it's, it's the same, basically. What, what it changes are the capturing devices or the constants, but it's, it's the same concept. So it's all about the screen, the camera, and the microphone. 
And I'm here, I'm gonna show you my first app. I feel like doing a, a, this kind of app in the toolbar. It's kind of like the hello world of Ruby Motion or effect apps, right? Like everybody has one. So this is the one that I did. Uh, here I'm recording this video. You can see this is something that we do regularly, you know, software developers. Oh yeah, it's going to be bad, <laughs> you know, that's typical when you're working. So yeah, this guy is recording the screen. You can see it here. Let me post it in the, in the correct part. Uh, okay, there it is, my app. So you can see it's really simple app. It has two buttons, basically, the start, the stop, and then it automatically uploads it to the web, you know? So that's kind of like my user interface. It has a stop button, a start button, and it records the video. So this is basically the Ruby I wanted to write, you know? This is what I wrote in my app delegate, you know, to say, so that, that's what I wrote. And you can see here, you can basically, I just want to start a recording, stop a recording, and then I want to have that file over there. So this is more or less how it's going to look in the code. Uh, you can see on top the start, the stop, and then we're going to talk about the, the whole AV foundation thing. It's going to be on these three methods, right? First, we're going to set, set up the video, then we're going to set up the audio, and then we're going to uh, set up the recording. So let's jump into that. But before we do, let me just present you, you know, the first three AV Foundation classes we're going to be seeing. So the AV Capture session is kind of like a state object, you know. It's going to hold our state, you know, basically. Then the input, uh, this can be your screen, it can be your front-facing camera, your back-facing camera, and it can also be your microphone. So you basically initialize some inputs, then you pass those inputs to the session, and we're off to the races. And this is how it looks. Uh, you can see there, we're uh, creating a session, AV Capture session, then we're having, we're telling it, uh, we're initializing also a screen input, basically a AV Capture screen input that's gonna start recording basically our, our screen, you know, what we see on the computer. And then we say, you know, hey, session, can we add this input? We can. We basically just add. So that's pretty much it for setting up the video. Uh, we can also customize these two things are kind of nice. You know, we can say if we want to capture the click, so it displays, a, you know, it highlights where you're clicking. And, well, the preset is just all about the quality and the size of the file you're going to get, right? So this is how we set up the audio for it. It's basically gonna like the same paradigm, you know, we just uh, uh, get our device and we add that device to the session. So this session object is basically holding all the state and we add input to that session object. And to, you know, uh, see in this class again, we just need to see how the setup recording uh, method. So that method, we just, uh, we, we gotta introduce another class of AV Foundation, which is AV Capture Movie File Output. And it's just a class that we saw, you know, everything that is on the session, dump it to this, uh, to this uh, file. So this is how we look. Uh, we kinda like initialize again that AV Capture Movie File Output. Uh, we set the delegate to self. There are a lot of delegate methods as in any uh, framework. And then uh, we add that output to the session. And then the star method is just uh, uh, telling that uh, movie file output that uh, it needs to start recording. And to stop it, we just said uh, stop recording on, on that uh, AV capture file output. So to going back, you know, these are only the, let's say, three classes, actually, because on this device, it can be many devices, right? So we have to. This is basically kind of like the flow we're going to see throughout the framework. You know, we have a session object, we have some devices we're, that we're capturing data from, and then we have a, an output, you know. That, so that's basically the whole uh, idea behind uh, AV Foundation. So this is how it looks, you know. This is the screen recording. Uh, as I said, you know, really simple. You just press start, stop, and then you'll get a URL out of it. 
and I have that on the App Store, and it really amazes me that uh, a lot of people from Asia use it, you know? And uh, what I get from that is like, we need to localize our apps, you know? I, I've been writing everything in English, but if, if I had localization, I guess more people will use it. So I think that's a, a big one. So if you want to download that app, uh, you just go to this URL, you can download it, it's free. It's, uh, I have all the code on GitHub also, you know, it's an open source app, so. So this uh, graph is, uh, I got it from Apple, this is just uh, where AV Foundation lies. Uh, it's above the, the core audio, core video, core animation, core, core media, but it's below the, the UI layer, you know, it's below UI kit. So you can actually use, uh, I, I was actually using all of this uh, from the command line, you know, just from my terminal. Uh, I don't like that much uh, GUI programming, you know, so. So when, when not to use AV Foundation, if, if we just wanna capture audio and video, you know, we can use uh, uh, what Apple provides or the wrappers, bubble wrap, you know, we can take a picture, everything from there. Uh, but if you wanna use, uh, if you wanna compose videos, if, if you wanna detail over capture, you know, if you wanna inspect media properties, you can use AV Foundation. So let's see uh, an example of, of the class groups we can have, you know, the capture classes, we already saw some of them, like AV Session, uh, AV Capture File Movie Output. For playback, we have uh, a, an AV player. And that uh, player allows us to customize uh, everything we need, you know, so we can create a custom player using the AV player. And let me just show you an example of, of, of that, you know, and this is more artwork from Dan. I love it. Okay, so AV player, this is uh, uh, a small diagram of how it works. So you will have your UI view, you know, in a normal UI view, you, would, you can use the, any of them. Then you will initialize a player. You will also initialize the AV player layer. And then you will insert that layer into this UI view layer. So that, that kind of throw off a lot of people, you know, because uh, we're used to just dealing with views, you know, when we start on, on this framework. But here you're adding the AV player layer to the PA layer, not to the, not to the view. So let me show you how, how that looks, you know. We'll have a UI view, you know, any view, we can use Peacock, we can use whatever we want for that. So if uh, we initialize the AV player, we pass it a, a URL. Uh, uh, and that URL has to be a AV player asset, right? So, uh, and then uh, we initialize the player layer and uh, we insert that layer into the, the sub layer of, of the view. And that's the simplest example I can come up with, uh, just playing uh, a video on, on using AV Foundation. So again, AV Player with this, uh, the two new classes that we actually need to see, the AV Player, the AV Player Layer, and we need to remember that the layer we inserted into the sub layer. And I'm imagining this is because optimizations, right? You are basically uh, plugging into the low level part of it. So let me also show you this uh, another video of me guiding because this is really what I what I needed AV Foundation for. Uh, you will see there, you know, it's a lot of different videos that I just stitched together. You know, so it's it's really simple editing. So instead of me learning how to do it in Final Cut, uh, I just wanted to have a tool that I can pass in a few videos. I'll do a, a small transition. I put an audio layer there and I stitch all the videos together. So this is pretty much uh, what I wanted to do. So this is what I got after a, a kiteboarding session. You can see like 300 videos. So a lot of my work is uh, actually cutting the videos into the interesting part because mo most videos are like three or four minutes and it is only like 20 second action, right? So I need to cut the videos, I stitch them together and uh, and create a one movie out of it. So this is more or less the API that I wanted to have, you know, and, and you can see this code and, and, and it's kind of simple, you know, I just want to have a, create an object that is going to cut a video and that's pretty much it. And well, you know, this code is kind of like somebody being a 12 year old, right? Like you have no problems, your father's cook for you, your mother, uh, you don't have any worries. So. This is what I wanted to arrive at. 
So before uh, we, we delve into that code, we gotta know about uh, core media time, CM time. Because every, everything uh, related to time on AV Foundation, we, go, we gotta use this kind of uh, these trucks. They're, kinda like, they're not an object, actually. So uh, it's part of the core media. Uh, so we need to, ba basically, uh, that CM time, what it does is this, right? We have a value over the time scale. So the value here, you know, it's, uh, let's say, 10 and 1, and it gives us this object. So this is uh, really important to work with time on, on AV Foundation. So let me just show you how it looks, you know, exporting and, and coding some videos, you know, and it, it's kind of like the same uh, idea, right? We have a, a AV URL asset. That asset can be locally. It can also be a, a stream. It can be on the net. It can be anywhere. Uh, then we have a AV mutable composition, and that composition we have an export session, right? So the export session is the one, the one that is going to be holding all, all that state, and the AV mutable composition is an object that is going to contain or order to cut the the movie into certain parts. So this is how it looks on the code, you know. Uh, Let's see the interesting part. It's, uh, yeah, we have an AV mutable composition. Uh, then we also have a, a duration. Uh, and this is where the CM time comes in. And we also have a, a result on the bottom, right? And that result, we're basically saying, you know, you know, on this composition, uh, create a coded in this time. That's what the CM time range make does. Uh, we give it a start time, so that's going to be the, the start of the movie. We, we tell it how long it's going to be, and then we pass in the asset. This is how it looks uh, right into a file. So we have the export session. Uh, we initialize it with the, the composition asset, and then uh, we give it a, a URL, you know, to, to output that, and then we also pass it a we gotta say what type of files we want at the end of, of this, you know? It can be either, uh, it can be many of them, but I guess, you know, uh, like MP4, MP3, it can be, uh, you know, any media file type. So to recap, I just wanna say that, uh, wanna see this video, all of these videos that I showed, some of them are uh, done through the tools I'm building, you know? And this is what I really like about AV Foundation, you know, that it, it allowed me to uh, not create an app for somebody else or, or, or make, make an iPhone app that somebody else wanted. It, it, you know, it allowed me to basically have superpowers with my friends because uh, my friends are like, yeah, we're all kiteboarders, but you're the computer guy, so uh, I had to step up basically, you know, and I was <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. No, it's kind of funny, you know, because uh, we're there traveling in Mexico and uh, a police stop us. And, you know, they're doing the regular thing, you know, asking for your ID, asking where you work. And I'm explaining, you know, I do iOS apps and all my clients are around the world and I do computers. And the guy was so confused that a friend of mine, he's like, yeah, he just made computers, you know. And the guy understood that. So, yeah, that's, that's what I do for my friends, you know, I make computers. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, besides from computers, I'm also, uh, right now I'm kind of homeless because today uh, I left my keys, my apartment keys inside the house. And oh. this, yeah, this, this was a house that a friend lent me, you know, so now I, I don't have a house. But the worst part is like when I was getting out outside of the house, my wife asked me, if, do you have the keys? And I said, yes, yes, bro. And then she closed the door, and then said, no, I don't have the keys. So I have two problems now, you know. I gotta get the keys of my house, and I gotta explain to my wife why I'm not paying attention when she talks. <laughs> 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 so a any superpowers AV Foundation give me are gonna go, on go away tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so now, well, seriously, to, to recap, you know. If we want to record uh, something on AV Foundation, we got to just uh, know like three classes kind of thing. The AV capture session, the device, we add the device to the session, 
and then we have an output, and that's pretty much it. Uh, for displaying or playback an asset, uh, what, it, what it really is is just initializing the AV player, also the AV player layer, which is kind of like a CA layer type of thing, and then we just insert that top layer there. And to compose or edit movies, uh, we just need to know basically three classes, right? The AV URL asset, the AV mutable composition, and the export session. So AV URL assets are any kind of asset, you know, any videos, any uh, movies, uh, MP3s, anything you want. And what is really cool about the AV asset is, is they can also be a stream of data. So they, they, they cannot, uh, they don't need to be finite, basically. You know, it can be just a stream of data. So that's kind of cool. And the uh, mutable composition, we tell it, you know, mutable composition, get this asset. Uh, I want it from second one to second 15, and that's pretty much it. And then to uh, export that, we'll just say, you know, AV asset export session. This is my AV mutable composition, and here we go. So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you very much.